Hello everyone. Let's discuss about how to install Eclipse and configure it. Okay, let's go ahead. So we have a one website. You can see tools.hana.ondemand.com slash 2021-09. So this is the Eclipse version and link. We are going to install it. Okay, so let's copy it and open the browser okay and you can just paste here okay so now you can see this is the hana development tools hana development tools for eclipse and you can download the eclipse 202109 release okay once click it okay you can see now accept cookies now you should click on ideas for enterprise java and web developer double click on this yeah you can see the right side we have a latest eclipse version okay that is 20209 okay so you should download it so i have earlier already downloaded downloaded 2021 09 Okay, so once you click, it will download it. So once downloaded, you will see, you will see the in zip format here. Okay, so you can unzip it. So if you, once you unzip it and double click on this, you will have a, okay, you can see here, this is the, okay, you will see here Eclipse. This is the Eclipse, okay? So you can just double click on this, okay? So once you double click on this, you will see here one icon shortcut key would be there on your desktop key. Okay, just double click on this. See, now it is opening Eclipse IDE. Okay, now click launch. Just cancel it. Okay, so now just launch it. Just cancel it and just double click on this. Okay, so let me choose this path. Okay, click on launch. So now the starting Eclipse IDAs. Now you can see. So this is the look like Eclipse. Okay, and now you have to go to the help menu. Under it, we have a install new software. Double click on this. And now we have a one link here. Okay, so as I told you, okay, there is isn't one link, you have to give it here like this link. Okay, so this link basically, okay, so you have to copy and paste it here. Okay, so once you paste it, you will see here the what are basically you need to install it. Okay, so once so already we have installed it. So skip this part, okay, and cancel it. So already we have installed install it. So once install this, okay, then you will have to go to window and go to perspective, open perspective, other. You will see so many perspectives are there. ABAP perspective, BW modeling perspective, you will see here. Okay, so so many perspectives are there here on the Eclipse. So based on your requirement, okay, you can use the perspective. So as you can see here, okay, see the left panel, when you can see the shortcut menu is there for your particular uh, perspectives. Okay, so just you can cancel it. So now I am going to show you how to connect BW4 HANA or S4 HANA with Eclipse. Okay, so let's here, you can see here, we already, uh, someone is already connected it. Okay, so you just, you can give the username and password, it will connect it. See, it is, now you can see. Yes, okay, you can see connected. But, but I would like to know how to connect. Okay, so let's, okay, go here and delete this project. Similarly, as for HANA, you have to 
just delete it. Yes. Now I am going to connect the BW4 HANA and S4 HANA. So first I am going to connect the BW4 HANA. You can see here and the menu you will see BW projects are there. Just click on this. Now you can select BW4 HANA and click next. Now you can see automatically the BW4 HANA server system and system number automatically configure it. Just you can have a click next. Now you can see here, you can put it your client name, your username and password here. So let's, I am giving a password of BW4 HANA here. Click next. Now please. Now you can see your BW4 HANA system is ready for modeling. You can see the favorite, whatever the objects are there, you can see under favorite. Okay. BW repository, all info area and BW related objects would be on BW repository and all the source system basically would be on data sources. Okay. Now, similarly, we are going to connect a S4 system. Okay. Similarly, you have to go to the okay window perspective, open perspective, other you can see above. Okay, that is S4 HANA. Okay, just double click. Okay. Yes. So this is a ABAP perspective. Okay. So how to create, how to connect the ABAP project basically? Go to here, ABAP projects. Click here, select S4 HANA. Click next. Okay, auto configure here, whatever the application for S4 HANA. It auto connected. Okay, now click. Okay, now you can see, put your client, user and passwords. So let's, I'm going to give the password. Next. Okay, it's saying something. It's not correct. Okay, so let's try again. Put the correct user and password. Yes, it is corrected now. Now you can see finishing. Now you can see your S4 HANA is connected with this Eclipse. Okay, so you can see here. Okay, so you all the okay, your Eclipse under you will see here. So this is the how we are connecting BW system and S4 system. Okay, apart from that, you will see here in the right panel, we have a small icon like a open a perspective. You can just open it. You will directly log in from here as well. Okay, like see BW perspective, above perspectives. Okay, if in case, okay, you have to, okay, directly want to connect a BW uh, perspective. You can just double click. So automatically, see it's swapped. Okay, automatically BW. Similarly, you are click here, automatically swapped here. So this is the basically how, okay, we are connecting with the BW4 system and S4 system, okay, on HANA, okay, tool development tool using Eclipse, okay. So this is, we have it, the session for this. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.